We all have questions, and Pastor Carney has answers. We all want to know what he thinks. There's important information to know. What are his thoughts? How did he get here? What's his favorite golf ball? It's time for Three Questions with Pastor Carney. The last thing I do before I close my eyes to go to sleep, I eat two, not one, but two string cheese. You know, you know that the sticks, the uh, what do you call those things? The uh, string cheese sticks. Oh, yeah. Are, yep. I yeah. think most four-year-olds know what those are. Yeah. Uh, well, hello. Okay. <laughs> and the thing is, I do not. I do. This is, you get more information than you want to know. Okay. I do not. Bite them. You what strip I it down. I strip yeah. it down. <laughs> strip it down until the very last piece, and I eat them, and I eat two a night, and I cannot go to sleep without eating two cheese sticks every night. This is why we True ask story. these questions. Your yeah. poor digestive system. No, the doctor said they need those. Oh, yeah. Well, then good. Yeah, and so two cheese sticks, and then I always do, talk about routine, okay? I always do it. Rolled over, facing watching TV. Yeah. I, I finish it over, and then I flip over. I look at Donna, and she says, Good night, Dario. And then, bam, I'm out like a light. Must be nice. The first thing I do every morning, you mean besides put my feet on the floor? Well, sure, yeah. The but first you... thing I do. <laughs> I, think it, I think it answers obvious. Wake up. Use the restroom. Well, no, 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 no. Hello, me. Me. Okay, the first thing I do... You thank God for the day. No. Oh! No. Oh. And, and, and truth be told, I don't. And I I feel bad saying that, My but bad. truth be told, no, no, You. that's true. I do it after this first thing. I start the coffee maker. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. Now, now, you might not know this, but maybe you do. Uh, Donna calls me a coffee snob. And the reason that is, is I get my beans, coffee beans, flown in from the island of Hawaii, Hawaiian Ooh. Island, from Kalua Kona. And so I get the 100% Kona beans, they get flown in, and I keep them in a vacuum sealed container. Nice and fresh. Nice and fresh. Yeah. And then I take them out and I grind them, freshly grind them, and I put them in the, the coffee pot, and then I only use spring water. You no. are you are a coffee snob, no That's doubt right. about it. No tap water, spring water. I make my my cup of coffee, and then I thank God for the day. Now I know it's probably the wrong way, uh, but I think God would rather me thank Him uh, being caffeinated than uncaffeinated because the word would come out better. But uh, I know there's probably some theologically messed up thing going on. We there, won't judge you. You're yeah. human as well. Yeah, yeah so. but it's first thing is, is definitely a cup of yeah. coffee. And then thank God for the day. And then, as you know, Billy, I'm very structured. I'm very agended. Um, and I go through the agenda in my head of what I got to get done on, on that given day. And then, uh, then I, I bathe and, and, and whatnot and uh, get my banana and come to the office and my day usually begins anywhere around 3, 3.30. Um, my sleeping in is 4. So if I wake up at 4 o'clock, 4.10, to me I feel bad because I slept in. Um, but like this morning I woke up at uh, 2.50, I think. And You mean it, last night? Yeah, yeah, last night. <laughs> and, and if I wake up any sooner than that, like 2.15, 2.10, and I start to get out of bed, Donna will say, no, no. Back in, roll over it, and go back to sleep. Good job, Donna. But uh, no, yeah. so uh, yeah, so that cup of coffee is like 3, 3, 10, 3, 15 in the morning. Yeah. yeah. Phil, how about you? Any routines? God bless Donna. Um, That's right. Yeah, I do. Uh, so I am a crazy person who falls asleep to the TV. Oh. Um, it takes me a very long time to come down from my day so TV actually relaxes me because I kind of mm -hmm. have an ADD mind. Yeah. Um, it's kind of this crazy weird thing. You think that it would make me like not be able to relax, no, and I hear I do, you. but it actually calms yeah. me and it makes me just drift. Mm -hmm. But before we do that, I say, I love you to Melissa. Mm -hmm. Normally give her a kiss and then fall asleep to TV in the morning. Uh, yeah. Get up, use the restroom. It's always the first thing I do. Obviously priorities, pastor <laughs> coffee. <laughs> priorities uh so do that and then um i normally hop in the shower 
right off the bat and then um, get dressed. I stay in my room and in my bathroom, in our ensuite bathroom, literally until about two minutes before I have to walk out the door and then it's out the door, take the girls to school. They're ready, Melissa's getting them ready while I'm doing my thing. And then I take Nora and Heidi to school and then I head to work. What Power. time do you wake up? I wake up about seven o'clock. My day's hip over. Well, you're not normal, Pastor. This and is true. God bless you for that. You heard it so, here first. I'm not normal. Yeah. Well, that's all right. It's so, a good thing. We're thankful for your 3 a.m. service, but, yeah, but I still have four hours of sleep at that point. I sometimes so. sleep until four. What time do you go to bed? My G6, uh, well, I sometimes doze off. Okay, uh, I'll, I might doze <laughs> off around 9 o'clock, 9.30, and wake up at like 10, 10.30. Like yeah. a, I take a power nap. Okay. And then I get my G6 and then watch MASH, Murder, She Wrote. Uh, or Donna will put on one of her British shows. Yeah. And um, I, I've come to fall asleep now, not to music, but to a British accent. And uh, it's very soothing. And so yeah. I usually fall asleep then again around uh, 1130-ish and then up at uh, 3. So, yeah. All right. I was going to, I thought maybe I'd have a couple hours on it, but no, I fall yeah. asleep around 1130 as well. Here's an example, I guess, of a strange purchase. I went out with a friend of mine to help him purchase something that he needed. I actually don't even remember what it was. We ended up in a mall. I came home with a 100-disc CD player. Wow. disc CD player? Yes. And my that wife looked strange. at me like, why do we need this? And... She was still in graduate school at the time, and we had parties, multiple parties, and uh, it was nice to have a yeah. uh, mix of music that we didn't have to shuffle around, and at that time, iPods and yeah. those things didn't exist, so yeah, 100 discs, you, you know, it's a lot of different songs to shuffle through. I, I, I got one. The strangest thing I ever bought. I don't know if it's the strangest thing thing but it has a really funny story tell us so um scooter um a scooter our son um, i call him scooter um i forget how old he was but he was young and we would drive back and forth from long island to niagara falls donna's family lived in niagara falls and um uh, and what i did was i'm not really a noise guy um uh, and so what i did at at sam's club kind of like Costco, Sam's Club. Um, I think it was BJ's. Yes, it was BJ's on Long Island. And I bought this portable DVD player. And I thought, this would be great. I can put a DVD in there, put it in the back seat. The kids can, can watch that for three hours. It gives me three hours of peace and quiet. We're heading up to Niagara Falls, put the DVD in, put it in the back. And the kids just started going wild and, and yelling and, and all sorts of noise. And um, I said, I said, watch the movie, kids, watch the movie. And, and one of them, I think it was Scooter, said, why? And I said, because I bought that thing so you would be quiet. Amen. And, and Donna said, well, I guess it didn't work. <laughs> so I guess the strangest thing I bought, comes with a funny story, is that portable DVD player, and I don't even know where it is anymore, uh, but I bought it. And uh, for the kids to be quiet in the car, and it it it, it didn't work. Or no go. So yeah. I'm not sure if it's a strange purchase, but it's a strange purchase with a with a funny story. I have uh, a good I have a good one. I thought of. Uh, well, maybe not a good one to yeah. me. My brother Kyle, who's been coming to church yeah, here absolutely. with Rosalind K. Great guy. He has an obsession with slushies. Oh. He loves slushies. Like we okay, so he goes to the gas station across 15 in Leesburg. Mm -hmm. All the time. In the summer, he's there sometimes twice a day. Mm -hmm. Sometimes he'll go in and double fist Ooh. huge slushies and go back and forth drinking them. Wow. He's crazy about slushies. So I told him when him and Rosen got married this past summer that I would buy them a slushie machine for their wedding. And sure enough, I did. <laughs> so at their wedding, one of the big desserts that everybody was having was they'd go up and there was a slushie machine that people could get slushies at. So... That was an interesting one that I didn't ever think I would buy. So that that's that's yeah. that's a strange purchase. It is, yeah. Yeah. but I bet he uses it. No, well, I rented it. I should. Oh, say you that. rented it. I rented okay. the slushy right. machine. Did yeah. not purchase it, but wow. bought it. I get. I use my own money for it. Yeah. So strange purchases. That you was, know what I need to do now? What? I need to go out this week and buy something strange 
So next week, I can come back and tell you of a new strange purchase. Let's do it together. We'll do it we together. We should go buy something strange let's together. Do, let's do it. All right. I would say, uh, and this might be unbelievable, but I would say I don't have an excuse because I'm hardly ever late. Mm. You see, I'm one of those guys, Phil, where if you're on time, you're late. Mm. And, and I don't know if that's how I was raised or if it's just inside of me or it's that perfection motif, um, but this comes into play a lot when Donna and I are ready to go someplace. I'll say, dear, uh, what time are we leaving? And she'll say, two o'clock. Now, to me, two o'clock means the garage door is coming down as I'm going down Roland yeah. Avenue, yeah. okay? To Donna, two o'clock means putting on the makeup, getting the iced tea. So for me, if you're on time, you're late. So I'm one of those guys, if you tell me to come over for a dinner party at five o'clock, I'm there at 4.30. And Donna says, dear, you can't do that. So I'm hardly ever late because I got that stupid controlling I got that, yeah. perfection motif in my head. That makes and sense. And so I that probably have been late, you know, once or twice in my life. But um, yeah, and it really burns me up when, I gotta be careful here, it really kind of gets to me when Donna and I have a difference of our time of departure. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Phil, so and I, you, Phil and I have never experienced yeah. that. I, I absolutely have been late before, um, but like Pastor, it does drive me crazy. I yeah. will say that. Yeah. Um, now, I am somebody, if I show up five minutes early, I, I don't believe that that is late. <laughs> I do. Because <see? laughs> it's, it's early. Yeah, that's right. So I would disagree with you on that. Uh -huh. I respect you, but I disagree with mm -hmm. you. If you are on time, like let's say you get there on the nose, then that is cutting it. That's like, mm. okay, you're cutting it. Mm. But if you're if you're there before when you're mm. supposed to be there, that's fine, right? They give you a time to be there on purpose. Mm. That's yeah. how I feel. However, uh, in regards to my excuse, um, normally it's traffic. So like if there's something, and a lot of times though, it really is traffic, which by the way, is still my fault. Um, if I do not leave in enough time to, to allow for traffic, then that's on me. So I can say, oh man, traffic was crazy. Like I was leaving Winona Lake on Wednesday. Oh, that's bad down there. And I was trying to go through. Oh yes. And then I had to go out and around to 30 yeah. and then 30 yeah. had construction. So I ended up getting to my, my appointment, like literally yeah. I had to go from Winona Lake to Syracuse mm -hmm. and I, it took me forever yeah. to get there. So point being, I was still there on time, yeah. but barely, but yeah. I thought I would have had tons of extra yeah. time. So either way, if you're late, it's still on you. It's on yeah. me if I'm late. But. The, the one I love with you, and you know, I love you like a brother, but I love when you come to, to the council meeting mm -hmm. and you come in like a minute after. No. And, 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 and you say the same thing, you know, I caught a train. No. Which, <laughs> which is true. Which wait, is I true. I have to cross Center Street yes. to get to where yeah. I need to go. No, yes. I was referencing that pastor <laughs> in regards to the fact that I, if I show up to a council meeting at 559, I get looks as if, <laughs> what are you doing here late? As if I don't have a life or a job or a family and I'm one minute early. That's right. Uh, and I hit my Poor dream. Donna. Poor yeah. Donna. Yeah. I love you, pastor. But, 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 the, but the, the good news is, is, is old Donna and I have this um, discussion about time, um, we're still very happily uh, married and very much in love, uh, despite the differences of what on time and late <laughs> is. But uh, yeah, so. Well, hey, we have those differences too. We still like each other. Yeah, so, so, so well, yeah. That was quite a question. Yeah. Went down it, a it's, quite a, it's quite an interesting question, Billy. Wow. You know, it's, it's one of those questions where you ask us on camera and after we answer, we'll probably both need counseling. <laughs> so, so yeah. But so let's where's let's, my therapist? Let's turn the tables. Yeah, Billy. Yes. What's your excuse? Oh well. Come on. I would say that I am <laughs> frequently late, but you're not. No, you're not. Um, being on time. Certain events have different qualifications mm -hmm. for I need to be there on yeah. time. Um, I had a coach in high school that because I didn't live on Lombardi time, mm -hmm. which is, you know, 15 yeah. minutes early, yeah. you're late. Right. Um, 
because I didn't live that way, he he, he would always say, Brinkerhoff, you're going to be late to your own funeral. Um, <laughs> so I kind of get jaded by by yeah. that to being on time. So I'm usually on time to things, but I, I don't know if I'm regimented about it. But there was this one time where I had this job that I really did not like uh, between high school and college, and I was frequently late. Mm-hmm. And this one time, my alarm did not go off. Honestly, did not go off, so I was really late. And I get there, and I see, you know, the only thing I could think of was the train, because I would take a train mm-hmm. downtown Cleveland, where train, this, the, train. where this uh, job was. You know, the the train was delayed by you know, mm. something. The boss looks at me and she says, you do realize that I take that same train. If you were going to be here on time, I I would have been late, too. Mm. (laughs) So that one's done. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. From now on, from then on out. Billy's just honest when he's yeah. <laughs> he is. Or he'll blame the dogs, one of the two. Hey, uh, it's all right. uh, Have you ever used that excuse? Blame the dogs. Uh, that would go back to the, one of the previous questions, the okay. routines, okay. The night and morning. Right. Uh, Hallie and I, our routine for going to bed and waking up in the morning is centered around the four dogs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And there's just no, there's no personal time there because, you know, they have to go out and they have to get fed and, you know, there's just things that have to be done. If I can ask you a question, Billy. Yeah. You mentioned four dogs. Mm-hmm. Can you share with us? Dog number four, which we've just met this past week. Sam? Sam. Yeah. Sam? Yeah. yeah he's, upst- about Sam. he's upstairs with Liz. Yeah, tell us about Sam. Sam is Bucky's, one of Bucky's puppies. Um, and he's a new leader dog for the blind uh, puppy that I'll be raising here for the next uh, year. And he's a mix of Golden Retriever, which is what Bucky is, and Black Labrador. And uh, he's, uh, he's stinking cute. He is. He is. Yeah, he's, he's about yay yeah. big, right? He's yeah. A, he's yeah, a little, he's little guy. A little fuzzball. Yeah. Um, and he will, he'll go back on August 20th. Yeah. Okay. Next so, year. Yeah. So, yeah. So when you, when you hear him, wave, don't, don't touch, but he's, he's working, but wave to Sammy. Yes. Yeah. Good question. Good Billy. questions. Good questions. These are yeah. fun questions. They are. You got to know more about me than you really wanted to know. Yeah. And I probably need uh, to go home and apologize to my wife, and she'll say, "Why are you apologizing to me?" And I'll say, "Watch three questions no, next no, week." No, say just wait till next week. You'll say, just don't watch three questions. Just don't watch three questions. Yeah. Yeah. But the thing is, we watch them together. Nice. Yeah. And um, so as they, as it comes out, I'm gonna be sitting there, kind of going. To Donna, so have fun. Thanks. Yeah. I might be late well, after that. Yeah, if you've got questions uh, that you'd like to have answered by Pastor, please make sure that you email us, send us a text, put it in the comment below, and uh, we'll make sure to get your question answered. Thanks again for joining us. If you have any questions about Redeemer, have a topic or interview suggestion, or need to know anything about the church, you can contact the church office at churchoffice at RedeemerWarsaw.org, Pastor Carney at Pastor underscore Carney at RedeemerWarsaw.org, Phil at Phil.Prevail at gmail.com, or Billy at RLC underscore IT at RedeemerWarsaw.org. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And please join us again next week. And until then, may the Lord be with your spirit and grace be with you. I don't have a real good excuse because I'm hardly... And I... 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 No, no... What? Where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> nice note. Yeah.